Unions want the government to increase paid parental leave to 52 weeks, almost triple the current allocation, to address what they claim is the second worst state-funded scheme in the developed world. The calls to boost parental leave are included in an Australian Council of Trade Unions report which dives into the gender pay gap, the unequal care burden on women and discrimination and harassment at work. Cutting gender inequality in the workplace and investing in women will generate $111 billion into the economy every year, the report claimed, and lead to an additional 893,000 women entering the workforce. Read more, man charged in fatal Sydney gangland double shooting attack because of the gender pay gap, men earn $472 more each week than women. If that disparity was cut in half, the report calculated women would take home an additional $85 billion. A massive overhaul of paid parental leave would bring significant positive change for households and family care across the country, the report said. The acts want the Albanese government to increase paid parental leave from 18 to 26 weeks, and then map out a path to lifting it to 52 weeks by 2030. The report recommended leave should be offered on a shared basis between parents, and that superannuation be paid on all leave. Australia has the second-worst government-funded paid parental leave scheme in the developed world, the organization's president Michelle O'Neill said. In 2022, women shouldn't have to give up on having a family and men shouldn't miss out on being involved in raising their kids because paid parental leave is insufficient. She said early childhood education and care would pay for itself if more women could work and pay tax. Bringing it forward and eventually making it free should be a no-brainer. Read more. Famous wood cabin falls off side of mountain in French Alps she called for the care economy to take center stage at this week's Jobs and Skills Summit. The report made 14 recommendations to government, including increases to child care subsidies planned for July 2023 being moved forward to the start of next year. That schedule change would help relieve cost of living pressures on families, the report said, and enable men to fill critical skill shortages.